Everyone has been talking about AI automation agencies as the best business model that you can take today, but here's a new boring business model that no one's talking about that's making millionaires in 2026. And so in today's video, I'm going to show you what this actually is and how you can leverage it before everyone else does. So without further ado, let's get right into it. To better understand what this actually means, let's start with this specific graph over here to really showcase the technology life cycle of AI today. And you can see over here in the past two years from 2023 to 2025, when ChatGPT was first released and AI became a hot topic, this is where most of us fall into, right? Which is the innovators and the early adopter stage. Basically, there is novelty in AI at this point of time and everyone is just trying to understand what AI does. Any early movers that promises AI will actually actually get the deal because every business wants AI implementation and no one actually knows what it does and what it is capable of. Basically everything that AI can be charged at a pretty high price with all the headlines talking about how AI is super important, how it's going to replace human tasks. There's so much fear, uncertainty and all the money is actually going into AI at this specific point. However, here comes the problem today where all of us are now in the early majority stage from now to 2026, where most of us have already touched AI, businesses are starting to understand what AI could do, and they're starting to see through the noise of all the overpromise that's happening. And this is where you can see over 80% of AI projects actually fail in the past two years. And of course, there are people that actually manage to leverage the opportunity out of this, where they promise ideas of simple prompts and automation blueprints, where they can sell for thousands of dollars, over promising the idea that any beginner could just take a blueprint and sell it for a super high price to any businesses out there. But here's the problem. How it led to 80% of AI projects fail is that 99% of all these simple blueprints doesn't work in most businesses, it doesn't really move the needle. Why they actually struggle is because most blueprints that people are stealing today all over the internet are just surface level and it doesn't work at all. After implementing it for hundreds of businesses, you realize that if you actually want to utilize this AI automation blueprints that you can find online, you actually need to structure it in a way that actually needs more debugging and error handling along the process. And you also need to understand the industry needs to really provide an automation service that is useful for them. And at the end of the day, as time progresses, people start to become skeptical because it is not about AI but it's about the outcomes that we can provide for them using AI. So of course, then the question is, is AI automation agency dead? And is it something that's not for beginners to get started? And the answer is, of course, no, it's not dead. AI is bigger than ever. Today, AI agency is valued at $11 billion and is projected to grow at a CAGR of 25% to over $35 billion by 2030. And the demand isn't shrinking, but our approach needs to evolve. We need to stop going around stealing blueprints, thinking that we can just take them and upsell them at a higher price easily anywhere else. We should be thinking about how we can actually solve these problems instead. Demand isn't shrinking, but approach needs to evolve. So we should stop packaging ourselves as an AI company that's able to provide all kinds of services and go around hoping that we can get a blueprint that we can just plug and play into another company for hundreds of thousands of dollars. But instead, there is a better way. We should be thinking of using AI to solve general problems instead. Using AI as a tool to help us solve these problems in a faster way instead of just force feeding AI as a concept to the companies without actually solving the problems that they are facing. And what I mean by this is to tackle the general markets because these markets are actually way bigger than just the AI space. And this is the greatest opportunity. You can leverage AI to actually solve their problems in a faster and more efficient manner. So what do I mean by that? Let's take a look at this specific example. If you see over here, if we were to look at the normal AI agency consulting space, it's only $11 billion. But let's take a look at one simple general market that we have over here, like digital marketing. You can see it's over $600 billion and it's only going to grow bigger and bigger as the need for content evolves along the years. So this is actually a bigger market that we can actually target to solve problems within the digital marketing space. And so one example out there could be starting a creative AI agency. If you take a look, global digital ad spend is projected to grow to $965 billion by 2027. So the services that you could provide to them could include things like UGC services, content creation, ads management, and so much more. There are high demand use cases for businesses that actually drive growth. And you can actually solve this problem by using AI at the back end at 10 times less the cost, but 10 times more output, allowing you to solve these problems that once was only available to big marketing agencies or production teams that have huge budget to do so. And that's one of the greatest opportunities today in the AI space. And to showcase to you how this demand is actually bigger than ever, you can see over here, this is an actual company that's A-B testing hundreds of ad creatives created with AI. And they're constantly pumping a lot of money into it, running these ads constantly because it's actually working and it is the new way of creating adverts that's helping them grow their business. And this is something that a lot of businesses would require help with that you can actually create and provide the services for them. Right, besides that, you can see over here, these are two different UGC creatives that actually have garnered millions of views and hundreds of thousands of likes. That's actually helping businesses get a lot of sales and all of this is done with AI as well. And it's because AI content creatives has started to get to a point where it's actually able to create real results for companies. And this opportunity is only going to get bigger in the next couple of years. And the people that are able to leverage these great opportunities are the ones that are able to use AI to create all these creatives to solve problems for companies and businesses that do not actually know how to do so, but wants to scale their content output. And so knowing that this is the great opportunity that you can leverage today, 
how do you actually get into it with AI? So there are three level ladders that you can actually take to help you leverage this AI creative agency opportunity. The first is to learn the AI tools. The second is to automate and systemize it. And the third and highest level is to productize your service as one person creative agency model. So let's go into each of them to understand how this works. Right, starting off level one to learn the tools, what you wanna do is to get familiarized with what AI could do. This means getting used to the latest AI tools out there like Vue Tree, Nano Banana, Runway, and so on to really understand how AI creatives are being generated today. Right, is it through text to image, text to video? How do you prompt for quality content? And what are the different strategies that you can generate content and adverts? And you can very quickly pick up these tools by testing it out. And at this specific point, after testing it out for a while, you can start to generate quality content that you could use for your clients or for yourself as well. But of course, after getting familiarized with these tools, a lot of the process is still very manual. Right, you still have to go into prompting and try out many of these different tools separately. So the next level that you can actually take is to automate your process instead, right? Becoming the orchestrator of your services. And this could be done using no-code tools today like any end to automate your content creation and processes. And because these are no-code tools, you don't have to have crazy technical expertise to get into it. You can just get started right away and you can actually systemize your creation process, making AI do all the work for you. So let's take a look at an example to help you understand how this actually works. So for example, let's say you want to provide AI UGC adverts for brands using consistent actors and products. So this is a no-code system that I have created on the back end. And how this actually works, for example, if we were to go the manual way, you could be providing this service by using a tool like Nano Banana to create an actor. From there, you will craft a prompt, you upload a product, and then you create the scenes with Nano Banana or another image model to create the advert scenes. After you've done so, you then take this scene image and pass it to Google VO3 to animate the video, combine the video, use something like CapCut to extend and render all of them together, save to a folder, provide it to your customer and then they will publish it under their socials or you could publish it for them as well. Now, of course, this is something that definitely can work. And the great thing about this manual way is you already don't need to have big production teams. You're able to do this using these different AI tools, but each of these process is still very manual. You still have to manually go through each of them one by one. Every time a new tool comes out that's a little bit better, you have to learn that new tool, slot it in and utilize that instead to generate the videos for your clients. However, after this flow has been created, you could actually systemize it and automate it so that you could replicate the same results for many different clients expanding your services. And this is the part where we can actually turn this into a system using a no-code tool like any end and organize them all from a single place. Let me show you how this works. We can take a look over here. This is the AI UGC system and whatever we have seen earlier could be saved in something like Airtable where you have all the ad names, narrative, instructions, actor references, and so on. And you can store them all together in a fully automated system. But all you got to do now each time you want to create a new ad creative is that you just have to select the ad name, the narrative, give it some instructions, some image reference for your product, select your actor, choose your models, and so on. And once you click run, it will automatically generate the adverts for you without you having to go through each of them one by one. And then using this system, you could also auto-publish them onto all social platforms. So basically what we have done is to turn this whole process over here into a automated system that you can use to constantly generate high quality UGC adverts for your clients. And this is just one of many different ways that you can actually do so. And that becomes the true leverage of building AI content automation systems to work for you, allowing you to scale your deliverables almost like a productized service. I do have a full video on how I actually automate the whole process like what we talk about. So you can check it out. I will drop the link over here in this specific section and you can see how this actually works in real time. And then from there, after we have gotten our systems created, with no code tools to take it even a step further we could productize it fully as well creating something called a microcess what we want to always do is to start off quickly with no code tools like NAN and Airtable to create fast iteration and quick MVPs we don't want to be spending so much time writing the code but instead we want to use a no code tool like NAN because we can very quickly iterate our systems to ensure that we can actually create the proper results that we want for our clients but once we get that completed and we have a structured system that we want to turn it into a microcess we can use something like Bolt or Lovable to create an app interface for the functions that we have created and then from there we can package and scale it up limitlessly. I really believe that this is the best flow because we're actually able to validate the market first and get the features out before we actually turn it into a micro SaaS, making it our very own product. And this is the ultimate step that brings us closer to creating the one person billion dollar company. And so if this sounds interesting to you and you're thinking of where to get started, you can start off by checking out my channels with a bunch of free tutorials to get started into AI content automations, as well as to stay up to date in the best practices on how you can actually leverage AI to create content systems that actually work for real business use cases. Beyond that, there's only 
only so much that I can share on YouTube itself as well. So if you really want to go more in depth, you can join my school community where I'm building the ultimate AI UGC system in real time. You can see how I actually go about structuring it so you can learn along the way. You also gain access to the latest plug and play systems as well as a basic tutorial to help you get started into building content automation systems step by step. We also have weekly community tech support to help you get unstuck while you're building out your systems, allowing you to stay up to date as tool changes and avoid drowning in shiny objects while learning throughout the way. So if this sounds interesting to you, you can join the community link in description below. Now, all in all, if there's one thing to take away from this video, in order to fully leverage this AI opportunity, you want to be result focused. The future winners aren't AI first agencies, but they are problem first agencies that leverage AI to solve bottlenecks. And that is the boring AI business model that's making millionaires in 2026. So I hope you found this video valuable. If you like videos like this, do give it a like and subscribe as I'll continue to share more videos about how you can leverage AI content automation systems. Till then, I really appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.